Okay, so um, we built this structure as an after afterthought here, right? And we wanted to show the uh, more favorable conformation and the least less favorable chair conformation, okay? Since there were questions about that. So if we look here, okay, we've got this molecule, um, one, four, trans, right? The two methyl groups are on opposite sides of the ring. One, four, trans, dimethyl cyclohexane, okay? So here we see um, when we have that 1,4 trans set up, we can see that axial up and axial down there, okay? So let's do a ring flip now, okay? So remember that um, equatorial bonds go to axial and the axial bonds go to equatorial when we do that ring flip, okay? So that twist boat is kind of the middle of the ring flip, actually. Okay, so let's do that. So now we see when we do that, right? What's happened to the two methyl groups? Yeah, they're equatorial. Do you see that? Okay. So, um, remember when we have those equatorial um, substituents, they're uh, uh, less or more favorable, right? Because they have less energetically unfavorable interactions with the other substituents. Specifically, they don't have... Let's get back to this. They don't have what you see, the 1, 3 diaxial interaction there. Okay, that steric interaction where there's two groups trying to occupy that same place. And in fact, you've got 1, 2, um, 1, 3 diaxials on the top and 1, 2, 1, 3 diaxials on the bottom. So that's quite unfavored relative to the, um, the equatorial version of this, the ring flip. Okay? Are there any questions on that? No questions. Okay.